Hey crafters, I wanted to just come back real quick and um, give you a sneak peek of a project that I did. This is actually the folio book that Jennifer Palmer did for National Scrapbooking Day and I did a different version of it. The first one I did was a smaller size which was the six and a quarter by 12. <clears throat> this one is eight and three eighths by 12. And um, what she had done with hers is that she had done um, smaller, smaller um, flaps on the inside of this. But um, I wanted to make the bigger flaps inside here because of the um, more like a four by six folio. So this actually is the paper collection is from Authentique. It is from last year, last year or the year before. I actually got this out of a mystery box from Country Crop Creations. Uh, not the last mystery box, but the time before that. And um, I used the graduation papers for that. So I just wanted to show you how this turned out and what it looks like and just show you the options that are available for any of these little folios. You can do the smaller uh, flaps inside or you can do these bigger ones. So. Um, here we go. I just wanted to show you this. And again, this size of folio is um, the 8 and 3 quarters by 12. And um, it has, what I did is the bigger flaps. And I used the uh, cut aparts, but the flaps themselves are 7 and a half because I did a half inch score line here. And what I did is I took um, and matted the back of these like that and I left all of this open so there can be uh, photos put in put inside there um, the photo let me see what the the photo or the camera that I use for that is Inka Dinka Do and what is the name? Is there a name on this? Um, just as cameras. So I use this larger impression there because of the, it being um, a larger size uh, photo mat. And this is exactly like Jennifer had done in the smaller one, um, only I used the bigger ones in this larger size folio. So I use, this is one of the ephemera cards or the cut aparts and then some of the paper and the stickers um, went on here and that one like that and that and that and I left this open just as I left open um, any of these to tuck in in here for pictures uh, for his graduation. I'm giving this to my nephew. He's graduating uh, on the 15th. Oops, did I miss one? Yeah, I did. And that goes down like that. And then in here, um, there is a pocket on here. And this pocket was cut two and a half by nine and one eighth. And it's scored on one half inch on the three sides. And then I cut a card or I was going to put um, on this um, uh, pictures on the back but I decided that we would make this into more of a card where that my kids could sign off on it so it this is seven and a half by um, three and three quarters and I just used some of the stickers on the front of this and then on the back of here um, I put a card and I tucked my check that I'm giving to him underneath and I put a photo mat there. So it's like a little card that goes into the pocket and when he's done he can use this as a photo mat for a picture. He doesn't have to leave that uh, wording on there. But um, I thought this was the cutest little um, folio for a young man to uh, put some of his favorite graduation pictures down and I wanted to share it with you so um, please uh, visit Jennifer Palmer's channel to find out her tutorial on this project I don't have a tutorial on it uh, but 
I wanted to show you another version of it with the larger uh, photo mats versus the smaller ones that she has on her project. So thank you so very much and you have an awesome day. Visit her channel and try this out for yourself. They are so cute. The small one and the large one will work for almost any type of uh, project or little folio that you need to give as a gift. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day. Thanks.